Aloha friends, I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year. I wanted to start off the, the year with one of uh, Lola's recipe. So I have had it into my crock pot. I have had the meat into my crock pot for about six to seven hours now. I started this off early in the morning. I did not film it uh, when I browned it, but it's very simple. All it is is a um, like a bottom roast, the uh, perfect meat for pot roast. And I slid it in half uh, because it was very thick. And then I just seasoned it with um, steak seasoning. Uh, I prefer the, the McCormick. A little bit of black pepper and just a little bit of um, of salt because the the McCormick is actually um, has um, has a lot of salt in there even though this one says 25% uh, less sodium and so I really seasoned that really well and then I uh, fried it on um, olive oil high heat to make sure it's nice and brown on both sides and that only took about 12 to 15 minutes on each side I placed it into the crock pot and then I added um, water like about one and a half cups to two cups of water into the pan that I was using to brown the meat and then I just added that whole li liquid from the pan onto the crock pot that's all and then I turned on the crock pot for a full high it's not currently plugged right now but I had it on high like I said, I started it at 7.30, so probably the crock pot started at about 8 after cooking the meat and everything. And it is now um, 3 o'clock. So I had it on high, and then two hours ago I had it on, um, on low. But just wanted to show you, um, the liquid is still there, but the meat is really nice and tender right now. So let me go get a fork and show you how nice and tender it is. All right. And now it's a perfect time too because everybody's coming home from school, hubby's coming home from work. You see how it nicely separates? That's how I like my pot roast and that's how the family likes it. And the, the family also likes it with um, enough liquid. A lot of pot roast doesn't have liquid. This is Lola's very <laughs> simple recipe. She actually cooked this. While I'm talking with you guys, I'm actually separating it. Um, she cooked this uh, New Year's Eve for our... I'm sorry, she cooked this... Christmas Eve for our Christmas Eve gather, uh, family gathering and then I had asked her for the recipe because everybody loved it as always and then I cooked it for hubby and I and the kids um, a couple days after we had it with her and now the kids are asking for it again and it's only the 3rd of January so that's how good this is um, all I'm going to do is just separate the meat because that's that's the preference in my household. You don't have to do that, especially when you have adults in your household. But I have kids and they don't want a big lump of meat. They want it kind of shredded. And it's your preference, again, of how tender you want your meat to be. So let me just separate this and then I'm going to show you guys how um, I finish it off with uh, mushroom flavoring and super easy Lola's recipe. Alright, so I went ahead and separated my, um, my meat. Now I have a pan over here that's been heating up. And I have mushroom and also butter. I'm not going to use the whole stick of butter. I'm only going to use about two tablespoons of butter. And this is just um, regular sliced mushroom that I found at the grocery store today. They didn't have the organic one that was already pre-sliced. So what I want to do is go ahead and um, rinse this off. Now usually with mushrooms, um, they don't recommend for you to... To rinse it off with water but I always do um, because of the fact that mushrooms it is um, in the fungi family so I I like to soak it or rinse it off with water to clean it because I am feeding it to the kids um, what happens when you rinse it with water is that it absorbs a lot of the water and I don't mind it absorbing a lot of water I just want to make sure that it's really um, really clean especially when I'm feeding it to the kids especially I have a three-year-old so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna put the butter in here and let it simmer for a little bit all right so I have the butter in here and it's just about one tablespoon I reserve the other tablespoon of butter for my roux later on and I'm gonna give that a quick stir to get make sure that it's covered with the butter. 
And I'm just going to cook this for a few, few minutes. Now this is only going to take a few minutes to, um, to cook. I'm also going to flavor it with the same Montreal um, steak seasoning as I did with the, the steak, just to put a little bit of flavor into the, the mushroom. Okay. And then I'm just going to stir, mix that in, give it a, about two minutes or so, and then I'm going to add this on uh, to the crock pot. And while this is finishing up, I'm actually going to get um, flour or cornstarch. I got about three tablespoons in here. I'm going to make a roux out of this with just flour and butter. And making a roux is just basically cooking up the, the flour. And then I'm going to get some liquid from the crock pot and add it onto the pan so that I could dissolve um, the roux and make it um, liquid form and then add that onto the crock pot. Yeah. All right, there's the mushroom. It's just going to go straight into the crock pot. I've already taken out some of the liquid and put it into a separate bowl. Now this is the other half of the butter um, that I reserve specifically for the roux. Just melt that and then I'm going to add the flour. You can also add cornstarch. Alright, there's the butter melted. I'm now going to add my flour and I'm just going to cook that until it's a nice um, brown, brown color. Alright, there it is. So it's basically just making sure that the flour is. Um, cook and now Lola's secret ingredient is the the liquid from the crock pot from the meat and then a little bit of a cream of mushroom so I had some reserve from when I made it a few days ago I'm gonna use this instead of opening up a can and first I'm going to pour the liquid you don't need to put the meat in there then I'm just gonna stir that in. This pot roast, friends, is absolutely amazing. And the nice thing about this, how um, Lola cooks, is that it's simple ingredients. So you're not taking the flavor away uh, from the main ingredient, which is um, the pot roast itself, the meat. Okay. I'm using a silicone whisk. This is a uh, heat proof, just to make sure that I get the lumps out. <laughs> it's really nice and thick. Get all the, the white cooked flour and really mix it in. I'm going to go ahead and add, um, that's about half a can of cream of mushroom. I only used up half last time as well. And there goes the mushroom. Mix that in there. See how thick it's gotten already. Now I'm just going to put this into the crock pot and turn the crock pot on again. And it's basically ready. It's just um, putting the ingredients together. This is her secret recipe. Cream of mushroom I think adds a lot of flavor to your um, your dishes. Yeah, all done friends. Let me go ahead and put this into the crock pot. All right friends and that is it. Simple as that. I'm just gonna mix the ingredients together. I have it plugged into the wall now and then it's just gonna go for about an hour or so but it's, everything is basically cooked. You're just um, blending the the flavors together and this is perfect over mashed potatoes, but my kids like it over rice. Absolutely delicious, and this is Lola's foolproof pot roast on a crock pot recipe. As always, thank you guys for stopping by, and Happy New Year. Mahalo.